Whatever these paintings may have been to men who looked at them generations back, today they are not only works of art. Today they are the symbol of the human spirit. У ліжко зі, зі мною був мій син, та я, коли пролинали перші вибухи, в мене було відчуття, нібито я спостерігаю за якимось фільмом з боку, що... Я пам'ятаю, як відчуття, що... I've stopped breathing for a moment, and I just couldn't make another breath. А в музеї я коли заходила, я заходила, я розуміла, що вже щось іде не так. Я пам'ятаю, що вони все спочатку обгортували спеціальним папером, там також ви тоді все складали в ящики. Я пам'ятаю. Ну, картини не можна було зносити місці з рамами, тому ми оставляли рами. Здесь, наверху, в залах, сносили картины. Каждая тщательно заворачивалась и паковалась в ящики. Since the start of Russia's invasion, Ukraine's museums, galleries and cultural institutions have been scrambling to protect their collections. Украинская культура, мова, литература є уникальною часткою світової культурної спадщини. There is a fear of cultural erasure. And there's so much being stolen or relocated or destroyed. We are very focused on protecting what we have. And it is so important to have someone as big as Hagen Wolves for helping us to put this conversation on a higher level. Alexandra was interviewed very shortly after the invasion, and we've been helping the Odessa Fine Arts Museum on a pro bono basis ever since. So there's a lot of work being done to make sure that they're kept safe and secure until it's, it's the right time to bring them back. The idea of being in a war zone, also doing the important work of protecting the artwork and the representation of the people is a huge amount to juggle with, especially in a, at a moment in time where many of these resources are in scarcity right now. Through Alexandra's tireless work, we've been introduced to various other cultural institutions within Ukraine, all of whom are looking for basically the same thing. They're looking for help to make sure that their collections are protected. And that's what we're trying to help them to do as lawyers, trying to explain how to document this and uh, to, to, to gather all evidence as possible. Of course, I feel thankful to them, but I don't feel the joy that I was supposed to that I could have. So this war is still in a lot, it's still in lives, first thing, and it's still in our dreams and hopes too. They are renaming streets, they are burning books. Зачем сейчас культура или искусство, когда грохочут пушки? Войн было много на земле, но искусство не умерло. И художники рождались, работали, творили, 